welcome back it is rosemary with another video thank you so much for tuning in and if you're new here welcome welcome i'm so glad that you're here if you're a returning subscriber thank you thank you please 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 consider hitting the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and also the notification bell so that you get notified when i make new videos your girl is rapping hit the subscribe button guys thank you so much for stopping by let's get right into it so I wanted to talk about how being an only child affected my life the pros and cons of being an only child the things that I think the advantages for me and maybe the disadvantages so you know let me start with the good the pros of being an only child one of the things I really like about being an only child is the fact that I'm self-sufficient I don't know if that's the right word to use like I'm okay in myself you cannot influence me easily mm -mm. Everything that influences me is from inside. As long as I'm outside, you're on your own. I am self-sufficient. Like I am content in who I am. I'm not going to do something because you said I should do it. That's even the last reason why I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do something because you are doing it or because people are doing it. I am not. I think that's one of the good things I, I, I like about being an only child. Like I don't know if I should do this pros and cons side by side or maybe do the pros and do the cons. But let me just say this before it skips my mind the con of being self-sufficient is sometimes you are so into your whole mind that you don't know how to ask for help i have an issue asking for help you don't know how to to be the one in need do you understand i always am the person who wants to help people out i'm the friend that you can call when you have issues and I'm going to pick up your pick up the phone and talk to you for hours if you need to talk to me for hours to get over what you're going through but I'm not the friend who's going to call you to talk to me for hours if I'm going through stuff I'm the friend who wants to handle my stuff myself maybe not because I want to handle it maybe because people now think I want to handle my stuff myself then I'm lonely because people don't want to help me with my stuff oh it's just a cycle it is a cycle it's a cycle this is just a lot <laughs> Another thing is that I am dotted on. Mm. I know that I am my mom's world. Do you understand? Like, you know that you're the center of your parents' life. It is just um, what it is. I think it, all, it gives you that thing where you are confident in yourself also because you know that you mean the world to people. Another advantage of being an only child would be <laughs> that I always got what I wanted or need let me say need um no matter how low your parents are on cash like i said you're their priority so they'll always give you what you request at least most of the time do you understand so it's like you don't have to wait in line for something you don't have to oh let's do this before we do that it was just really never it's just really never the case with only kids and like i said maybe i'm doing the pros and cons together that could be an issue because it makes you impatient <laughs> you don't want to wait for stuff you don't want to hear we cannot do this now mm -mm. because all you know is I want this and you get it not because it's in abundance but because it's like how would I put it there's an orange or there's an apple in the fridge and let's say you and only child want an apple the tendency is that you're going to have that whole apple to yourself but if you had like four siblings and there's only one apple in the fridge your mom is probably going to cut that apple into four and share between all of you so you get what i'm saying so you're used to eating your full apple you don't want to come and cut an apple now you understand but that's something that you have to work on you have to be a better person so you have to learn how to share your apple <laughs> something else i really like about being a little child is i really learned to be there for myself i can go through stuff alone by myself and come out of it really well same you get I'm happy with myself in myself like it's just something that most people don't have or people cannot relate to because some people need things to make them happy I need me to make me happy so let's get to the disadvantages and the cons things that are not so good things that are not so good about this for only child thing the first thing is when things go wrong you're really on your own nobody can relate to things that concern you you don't have siblings to let's say something goes wrong in the house you don't have siblings that are sharing in that hurt or whatever whenever things go wrong it's only you you carry the burden you carry the the fear of uncertainty you carry the 
should you understand like you are alone when things go wrong there's really nobody that understands whatever is going wrong in your home in the same magnitude as you do do you understand you are alone whenever things go wrong and nobody wants to be in that place so yeah something else i would hate about being an only child is the pressure gosh no one wants to go through that kind of pressure no one wants to be under that kind of pressure you are under pressure to make your friends happy to make people happy to like basically you are the focus of their world so they need you to be perfect and no one is perfect now you understand so but there's, there's, but there's so much pressure for you to be so much do you understand and it really makes some only kids strong-headed because they want to do what they want to do but because they are the only focus of their parents attention their parents want them to be a particular thing do you understand so that's like really the, one of the cons of being an only kid um something else is like really being like strict upbringing maybe for me but let's say it's a strict it was just really you can't go out like oh god i can't remember how many times i i already planned going out and i was stopped right at the door i think that's a nigerian parent thing but it's you know maybe if you're a third child your parents would have been strict to the first and second and by the third they're just like okay have your way but no it's like everything all the strength <laughs> of raising a child is put on you do you understand like you just don't have freedom even those people who are pampered don't have freedom it's like a struggle to get on your own you want to do things for yourself but no you have to do what your parents think you should do and I don't know but it's really a downside of being an only child because all the attention is on you and you want to be free most of the time but it's just probably something that won't happen but another thing which is one of the things i really hate is people just think you're spoiled automatically i'm an only child ah they pampered you you're spoiled and they just look at you from another light i'm like why why why, why do you think that everybody's pampers their only kid like and it's also that stereotype or when people see you they already have a mindset about you it's really terrible and most kids are most only kids are not even sports I don't think I was sport I don't think I was pampered so like when people say you were pampered or you're sport or the moment they find out you're an only kid they just think that you're sport it's just a lot and it's one of the downsides of being an only kid another thing would be that we have sharing issues <laughs> I used to have sharing issues but I'm glad I'm getting better or I'm better I think like it's just the whole thing about life when you see something that is not really good in your attitude I think what makes us adults is the fact that we want to work on things that are not so good in our lives and make ourselves better people nobody is born perfect there are things that you do maybe you have a temper a lot of things that or some things that are not really how things should go the idea of you being aware of stuff that you do is so that you can work on it and be a better person I really had an issue with sharing and it didn't mean I was a greedy person I don't think I'm a greedy person I don't think I've ever been a greedy person I think the issue would be if I had stuff instead of sharing it with you I would give it to you I don't even understand the concept of having to share something do you understand like I got better at it so I could share stuff like yes it's one of the downsides I didn't know how to share but like I said I I worked on that and I think that's not an issue now but it could be a, an issue with only kids so if you have a friend who's an only kid and maybe doesn't like to share and just wants to give you all the stuff instead of sharing it could be something you can call them out on maybe tell them about it and see if it's something that they are not aware of because it's just really the way that they've lived or the way that they've been brought up so maybe they're going to do better to see okay this is an issue you want things to be shared among the both of us so let's try sharing things and you see you are doing the lot's work i'm going to end this video with what parents who have one kid should do to their kid or to help them with their relationship with people and also with themselves and generally just with life and all that they will experience in life the first thing would be calm down on the pressure they are already pressuring themselves by themselves like i said your own pressure i'm not saying you should let them um, do whatever they want to do no I'm just saying that there's just so much pressure on them already calm down with all the pressure they are kids they are still kids something else is let them be independent I know you want to shelter them and shield them and everything but just 
allowing them a little bit of independence could teach them so much life lessons that you might not be able to teach in few days or in weeks just maybe one day of independence could be enough to teach life lessons that you would have spent two weeks teaching at home or teaching with um, step by step do this do that independence sometimes could do the magic <sighs> they cannot be perfect no one is this goes back to pressure tone down with the pressure another thing would be don't overindulge them I know that you have everything to give them I know that they are the ones you're working for but we need to tone down on you know they should know that even though you can give them the world that the world is not going to be at their feet all the time that sometimes life is going to happen and they're not going to get what they want you don't want them to be terribly heartbroken because all their lives they've been given everything that they want everything that they want they are giving this is really a very important point because it's going to help them be stronger people mentally when they go out to the world and see that everything is not just handed to you do you understand you don't want them coming back home disappointed because somebody somebody didn't just give them whatever they asked for like he would give them so I know that you love them I know that they are the center of your world but don't overindulge oh this has been a ride <laughs> and I'm so thankful that you hopped on and came along with me thank you so much for watching this video thank you for tuning in please don't fail to subscribe to my channel let me know in the comment section the things you enjoy about being an only child or things that you don't also enjoy about being an only child and if you're a parent too, let me know what you're doing to help raise your only child better and if you're considering having just one kid let me know if you found this helpful i will see you in my next video <laughs> yes i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye